So we are here with the incredible Dida de Groot. Great to meet you. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Um, it's lovely to be here. It's a lovely night, isn't it? I mean, it's great to see the tennis back at the Hurlingham Club for, for the Armani Classic. I mean, how are you feeling about this evening? Uh, it's so nice to be here, especially yeah. for us. Uh, usually Wimbledon is like a one-week event. Yeah. Uh, so now I can prolong it a little bit, so I love to be here. How are you feeling about Wimbledon this, this summer then? Because, you know, you're such a, a serial champion in all respects, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. I think um, some nerves are are coming uh, coming slowly um, I'm the title defender so uh, I have some pressure um, at the same time unfortunately there's no points to either win uh, I'm definitely gonna lose them so also there's just I'm really just happy to play is that, a, is that an issue for you about the points do you, are you fussed about that or how do you see it I mean we can't do anything about it so I just have to do uh, with yeah. with what the decision is made yeah. Um, so yeah I'm just gonna have fun I think it's yeah. uh, it's also a way to sort of enjoy the tournament instead of feeling the pressure of the of the points yeah and congratulations on the French Open as well was that the first uh, women's wheelchair singles final I believe I think the, um, that you uh, at Chantrier yeah, yeah at the at the center court yeah so how did it feel playing on, on that stage uh, in front of all those people and you know essentially putting the the sport on the map really I there. think moments like that are I think for us really important mm. I also think that we're at this great time of wheelchair tennis at the moment where all of the tournaments all of the big events like the Grand Slams they're picking it up they are helping us they're trying to put it forward um, so things like that and uh, also yes uh, last year uh, at Wimbledon I got to I got to play on court court two um, so which is also like a center court really big um, so yeah things like that really help us and I think it also is like a like a little bit of a confirmation that the tournaments are trying to help us and against a familiar opponent as well, Yui Kamiji. Uh, so how have your rivalry developed over the years? Yui and I, we've played so many finals against each other and yeah. I think we, we know each other very well and at the same time we're always trying to find different different ways to beat the other. Mm. Um, so uh, it's really just a fun rivalry where we're, I think we're also improving each other. Yeah. Uh, it's just really nice. And you're someone who's won on, you know, away from the sort of traditional tennis circuit as well at the Olympics, at the Paralympics. So um, for, for yourself winning on that stage, how does it differ to the regular tennis calendar, if you like? So I think the, the Paralympics last year, it, it's so special because it's just like one every four years and last year was even one every five years. Yes. Uh, so we had to wait even longer for that one. Um, so really it's like a special time of the, of the calendar when every tournament is a build up for that specific games, for the Paralympic Games. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a special one. And for your hopes in the future in terms of uh, beating Esther Vigier's record, is that something in your mind or is it, it's a bit far, far off at the moment, but it's, you've got time on your side. Is it, is it something you're, you're aware of or bothered about? Or? Um, a lot of other people around me are, yeah. are definitely, they have it in their heads. Yeah, yeah. Me, myself, not so much. I try to just be myself. Um, also, I think her records, her um, career, I think it was so special. I think, I, I mean, I, I don't have the, uh, the dream to really beat that. Like, I think that should be something that's on itself. Um, and wherever Grand Slam I get to, in the end, is not going to affect anything of, of whether it, I was successful or not. Um, so yes, the thing she did was very special. And lots to look forward to for Wimbledon this this summer. Uh, who is your number one opponent? Would you say is there anyone that you're worried about facing? Or? I think there's a few actually. Um, uh, my fellow countryman Anik van Koot. She uh, she's a very good slice player. Uh, she likes to, to play on the grass. Uh, I've, I've played against her in in the finals a few years back. Uh, so she's familiar with uh, playing the big matches on the grass as well. Uh, I've got uh, KG Mondiani. Uh, she's a very good slicer as well. So. I think she's pumped for Wimbledon. Uh, played the final last year, so a very good opponent. Didi de Groot, thank you very much, and best of luck this summer as well for Wimbledon. Thank you. Thank you very much.